Good afternoon, my friends. Happy Wednesday. Come on in and make yourself comfy. Hopefully people can find us today. It is Wednesday afternoon, February 23rd, the day after 2 2 Tuesday. And it is a gorgeous 70 degrees here in Virginia. I hope wherever you are, you are comfy and having something cool to drink too. Well, maybe not in Colorado. I talked to my friend this morning. It was two degrees there. So maybe she'll have a hot drink. Right, Michelle? <laughs> Come on in. Make yourself comfy. I've got a really pretty project today. And we're going to uh, learn a new, new technique. So come on in and make yourself comfy. All righty. There we are, I can see it on the computer. So yes, come in, make yourself comfy and cozy and we will get started. Hello, hello my friends. Good to see you. Hi Jackie, thanks for joining. All right, so today we're gonna make um, kind of a, mm, a beautiful but simple card, which are two of my favorite types of cards to make. And we're gonna be using the uh, daffodil paper that is free in Celebration. And Celebration only has one more week. <laughs> Not even a week, only five more days. Can you believe it? So this is that gorgeous daffodil paper, 12 by 12. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty on the front, pretty on the back. Love it, love it. This is one of my favorites here because it can be cut up and make some really cool card fronts. And then on, on the back, whoop. <laughs> I guess Wendy will be coming the phone for us. We got a new phone. Can you tell? It is so loud. <laughs> Need to figure out how to turn it down. These are the patterns on the back. Love these little hearts and the stripes and the polka dots. It just is so, so pretty. So those are the five or the five, six patterns for the back. So this is free pack of paper in celebration this month. So check it out before it's gone. You're not gonna wanna let it go. Oh, I know, Jeannie, isn't it beautiful? Oh, I just love it. So we're gonna use this pattern in just a little bit, but we're gonna do our card first. And for our card today, <clears throat> like I said, we're gonna be doing kind of a fun fold, but it's really a simple fold. And we're gonna be using Daffodil Daydream, and I'm only using the stamps today, but you know it comes with dies also that match, so not gonna to wanna to miss those. So here's our card. This is, an, I used, one of the sentiments from the stamp set, I didn't, I was gonna go rogue and do a birthday card, but instead I um, I used the Easter, Easter stamp on here. So really, really pretty. And some of that gorgeous pale papaya ribbon. Oh, so pretty. So when you open it, it's just gonna open left and then right. And I just did a couple little butterflies in there because I wasn't sure what sentiment I wanna put in there yet, but this is gonna be a really quick card to put together. But I'm gonna show you how to make envelopes in matching paper out of any size, for any size cards that you have, okay? So let's get started on our card first. And we will need our pink pie card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Beautiful color, love that. Then we're gonna use a piece of that designer series paper. This is the one I showed you that had the, this design flipped on the other side at the top. So you can cut it up into card bases, which I think is a fabulous idea for, card, for a designer paper. But instead, we're gonna use this piece to do our fun fold. So like I said, this is one, if you wanna whip some cards together that are really, really pretty and do them really quickly, um, this is a great design to do. So this piece is, will measure five and a quarter by 12. So you're just gonna cut that little piece off the bottom at five and a quarter. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna score it at four. And again at eight. Four and eight. So you'll have three little four inch sections there. 
All right. So that is for our card base. Let me get my bone folder who got buried, poor little guy, down here on the table. So I'm gonna take my um, designer paper. Like I said, I have those two score lines and I'm gonna fold both ends in towards the center and then burnish it with my bone folder. Left and then right. And I love the colors they chose for this because they have that pale papaya and the flirty flamingo in there. I think it's just so pretty. So there's our, basically our card because this is gonna fit right on the card base back here. And let's glue that down with some stamp and seal. Now the, the uh, creating any size envelope for whatever you have, I, I know, I know I've heard people say it before that it's so easy to do and I just never tried. So I gave it a try and man, am I hooked. So I'm gonna be making a lot of envelopes. So I think I'm gonna get some <laughs> extra paper just like this so I can use it again and again to make really springy looking envelopes. Okay, so on mine, if you can see here at the top, I wanted to get a little bit of that um, pattern from the inside to show here on the outside. Hey, Kim, good to see ya. So what I did was I just folded my corner down Fold my corner down just a tad, and you wanna just bring it down so that you try to keep this bottom edge. Well, I didn't do too good a job there. You wanna do that corner, that corner edge so it's kind of parallel to the top and the bottom, okay? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive right back there, like that. Okay, actually I forgot to glue this one down. Poor little guy, it's hanging out there. There we go. Okay, so there's your basic card base. Now, for the inside of my card, I use a piece of very vanilla. So this has a very vanilla um, kind of background, I guess, to it. It's a lot of the embellish or the um, designs in it are very vanilla. So this one's gonna be for the inside. So I'm gonna stamp a couple of little butterflies that were in that stamp set down here at the bottom, just to tie it all together. And I'll have to find a sentiment that I want for the inside. Because this one, the stamp set comes with Mother's Day and Easter blessings, which I love, but I'd like to have something else to go on the inside. I, I always hear my mom in the background saying, can you put something in the inside for me? So there's the piece for the inside. So I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna bring in a little piece of coordinating designer paper. Now this is just a piece that I cut off of this larger piece and I saved it and cut it down into four inch, a four inch section and it is an inch and a half wide. Okay, so an inch and a half by four inches. And I cut this off to put it over here to bring in that pattern and tie it all in over here also. Okie doke. So that's gonna be there. And then I went and I cut one of the stitched rectangle dies. And we're gonna stamp on this with our um, daffodil and color it in to make it coordinate. Let's put that right there. Beautiful daffodil. Look at that image. Isn't that pretty? I love that. All right, so this one's kind of big. So I'm going to take my memento ink since I'm going to be coloring with Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to, you can hear the airplanes by the airport right here because the windows are open. Can you believe that? In February, it's 70 degrees. <laughs> all right, so I have that all inked up. And I'm going to bring it over and I want this side of the bloom to be inside the border and I want the leaves to kind of float off the border on the left. So we'll go right about there. Okay, yay. So there is that one. And then I'm going to 
get a piece of scrap vanilla and I'm going to bring in that Easter blessing stamp and I'm going to use one of my newer punches that I haven't had very long. I'm going to cut a one inch strip here. Did I cut an inch? Oh no, three quarter inch. Three quarter inch strip. Because this particular punch, well, I can't pick it up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut two for good measure because you never know. <laughs> so we're going to use this glorious punch here. Let's see if I... in the main catalog. This is the annual catalog back here in the back with the punches. Oh, where, oh, where can it be? I don't know if it's in here, if it's in the, no, it must be in the mini. Hmm. All right, let me grab my mini catalog because I want to show you where it is so you don't miss it. in here? No. Where did I get it? I thought it was in the regular one. Am I looking right at it? Come on, suit. Get your act together. I know I'm looking at it. Well, this is fun. Those are dies, no wonder. Michelle, for Pete's sake, give me a break. Oh my lord. I've been working with dies and stuff, writing tutorials all morning. You would think I'd be familiar. Okay, let's rewind. It's the treasured text pick a punch. This one down here on page 149. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, excuse my brain. I spent yesterday in the ER with my father who fell and fractured some ribs, so I'm kind of off my game a little bit. So we're gonna do the treasure tag pick a punch over here on page 149, and that is right here. Now you'll notice on this one, it has the three little notches here on the inside for each of the ends, and it is a half an inch, three quarters of an inch, and then one inch. Okay, so you'll have three different sizes you can use. So I cut the <clears throat> three quarters of an inch here and I'm gonna use this end over here on the left. So I'm gonna put this in the groove right there for the three quarters. And I'm gonna flip it over so I can see the back here. And this just makes it so much easier to make sure it's lined up. So you can see here at the top, hopefully, how it's centered in there. So I'm just gonna grip it a squeeze like that. And look at that beautiful little, oh thanks Jackie. Look at that beautiful end over there. Now I'm going to stamp my Easter blessings. You'll see why I cut extras because I'm not, I'm not uh, stamping on all cylinders today apparently because <laughs> I did the label a couple of times. All right, let's see if I can get lucky and get it right. One of the first couple times I do it. Huh. Let's see, uh, Easter blessings. That's not bad. All right, let me flip it over and do it one more time. A little off my game. Ooh, that's better. Okay, there's that. All right, now I'm going to trim off a little bit of this and you don't want to get too close to your sentiment because this punch does, it does take a bit, once you get it in the punch, it's gonna take a bit to get it, um, you're gonna need a little leeway in there. So put it in the little groove, push it all the way in, I'm gonna flip it over and get it lined up. 
scooch, scooch. Oh, that's not bad. Plus, we're putting the butterfly on it. So, cool. Okie doke. Whew, that's behind us. Let's set that over there. All right, so now I'm going to bring in my blend. So for this one, the colors in the designer paper, um, there's pale papaya in here. There's some flurry flamingo and some daffodil delight. So I am going to... This one is actually quick to color because... I'm not using um, both, oops, wrong end, both tones of the um, colors. Well, on the green I did, but I didn't do it on the flower because I liked it the way it looked without it. So I'm just going to take Daffodil Delight and go in and do the outer petals. I love when we, um, we go down to where my daughter went to college in Harrisonburg. Virginia to James Madison. They have um, these gorgeous gardens out there and they have all kinds of daffodils in the spring. And I love the ones with the little orange centers. I think they're so pretty. So this was a perfect card to pay homage to that, I guess. All right. Outside petals, and then I'm gonna bring in I'm gonna bring in some dark petal pink, and I played around with colors to see what I liked uh, to coordinate with it. Um, you know, you can always mix and match your colors. We do have everything that matches, but sometimes you'll find something that coordinates that I don't know. It just makes it sparkle. So there's. And then on the leaves and the stem, I used some light and dark old olive. So I'm gonna go in with my dark first because I wanna do a little bit of the shading around, well, the shadows basically where the leaves come down. Like that. A little bit in here. And down here. And this will just give it a little bit of dimension down here, like that. Oh, hey, Linda. Oop, I had something in my car for you today. I should have dropped it by. I'll have to swing by. All right, so I'm adding the lighter green in and blending that in. And when you start blending with the colors, you're gonna wanna give it a few seconds to actually get in there and blend together. So it's not gonna look blended at first, it's gonna look a little flat, but it will start to blend in and just kind of meld together. Like that. Like so. Yeah, my, um, my dad, he uh, had a hip replacement a year ago after a fall, and they were eating breakfast at Denny's here in Manassas the other day, and they came out, and where the ramp comes down to the sidewalk, where the edges are, it had these little wedge pieces of concrete, and his foot hit one of those, and his feet went out from under him, and... Yesterday, we went to the ER, and um, he has fractured ribs, so no fun for my dad. So please keep him in your prayers. All right, so there's our daffodil. Now, this one is going to be adhered um, flat to the striped uh, piece over here on the left-hand side. And like I said, that's just to pull the color in. So it's going to be on the top left and bottom of that piece right there, like that, okay? Now, I wanted to bring in some of this gorgeous 
pale papaya ribbon. It's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. So I'm gonna put a little adhesive here on the back, even though this piece is gonna get popped up. I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back because I wanna put my ribbon, a little swoosh of ribbon behind this. So I'm gonna start off the left top edge up here. And then I'm gonna bring it over and some people, they kind of struggle with this. One thing to remember when you're doing it, if you can keep it so that it's meeting here in the center, when you fold it over, it's gonna kind of kind of uh, layer right there on the fold. It'll help you with your placement, okay? So I have that one, so I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So I've done this under. And I don't need a whole lot. I just want enough to have that color pop. Like that. All right, so once you have that, you can go in and just trim your ends like that and like that. Oops, my scissors are getting dull. Hmm. I'm sharpened. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that ribbon. Okay, so now we have this one done. So we're going to take our dimensionals and adhere this down. Pop it up on that gorgeous designer paper. Oops, stuck down. Come here. So this will go over here on the left side. This is a perfect spring card today. The dogs are so happy. They're out on the deck laying in the sun. <laughs> They're like, Mom, this is great. Don't get used to it, because it's gonna be cold again eventually. All right, there's that. Now, I'm gonna put it over here on the left-hand side, down a little further from the top, but kind of equal on the left and bottom. So I have a little extra room in there, like that. Okay, and then we're gonna bring in our sentiment. And I'm going to put a little adhesive on the back of this end, the left side, because it's going to be adhered flat to my um, daffodil. I have to look and make sure I know which one's the right one. That's going to go there flat onto the daffodil. And then the other end is going to be popped up so that it's even with this layer here. Does that go right about there? Like so, okay. All right, so here's our piece for the inside. Now I need a butterfly for the outside. So let's stamp one on a little scrap here. And this is a quick one to color. This is actually um, a Calypso Coral. I decided to bring in a darker one um, on the other card. You can see I used it on the inside butterflies. And like I said, they all coordinate. It's just so pretty. There we go. So there's that one to cut out. And let's go ahead and do this little guy over here for the inside panel. All right. All right, quick, quick, quick. All right, so once we have this done, we'll go ahead, we'll glue this on the inside, and then we're going to add some little fun things to make it shine. So this is a little bit of light petal pink I'm gonna use here on the edges. Aren't they pretty? Last year I had, a, well, when I used to teach kindergarten, we used to get one of the kits every year and, um, you know, have the little 
container where we grew butterflies and had watched the life cycle and everything, and the kids used to love it. So last year, um, Jason and Emmeline, I did it with them, and oh my gosh, we had so much fun. They were so beautiful. You can order those kits. They're pretty cheap. All right, now we're gonna cut out this little one. Okie doke. Just gonna go in. Just kind of trim around the edge, leave a little, little border, like so. You don't have to be very precise because it's just going to be popped up there. There we go. All right, so let's take a little piece of a dimensional, or you can use a mini dimensional. So it's just what I have laying here. And we'll pop this one up right over here. Let's see, this one I think we'll put this way. Like that. Then I'm going to bring in some of my champagne rhinestones and I'm going to take two of them, two of the larger ones, and do just a little sparkle up here in the corner. Well, a medium and a big one. There we go. Oops. Push. And then I'm going to do one at the end of my sentiment down here like that. All right, let's put this on the inside and then am I going to I'm going to show you how to make any size envelope with your designer series paper. So you can use it up too. Oh, hey Jean, good to see you. No worries. It's beautiful out there. I haven't gotten to walk yet today. There we go. All right, so there's the inside. Close like that and close like that. So here are two different versions. You can see over here I changed the butterfly a little bit. But this stamp set is so gorgeous with these designs here. You know how I love a good splatter. I use those a lot. So um, that is definitely one to get while well, it's available in that paper while it's still um, available to get for free with a purchase during celebration. It's Last day is the 28th, so be sure you don't miss it. All right, so envelopes. So when you have something that you want to make an envelope for, what you want to do is you want to measure from diagonally from one corner to the other. So top left to the bottom right, or vice versa, it doesn't matter. So when I measure from left to right here, this is seven inches. All right, so whatever you have, you're gonna add one inch in both directions. So I'll need a piece of eight by eight paper. So I'm gonna bring in this beauty here. This is a 12 by 12, some of that free paper. I'm just gonna cut four inches off both ways. So we'll end up with an eight by eight. And this is so handy because, you know, you don't always have envelopes on hand. That's okay. All right. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to pop it on my grid here so that it looks like a diamond. Let me see if it catches up here. I have to wait for the camera to catch up. Can you see? Hopefully. All right, so I'm going to line this up here on my grid and I will put the points on the grid line so that it's straight. Let's see, one there, one there, there, and there. Okay, so it's just gonna be on my, on my grid so I know that it's actually square up. Then I'm gonna take my card, so I'll just lay it like this. Um, put my card here and I'm going to put it in the center. Now you don't have to measure, you don't have to make it absolutely perfect, perfect. Um, but if you put it in the center and kind of eyeball it to see if it's straight, 
Let's see how bad I'm off there. There we go. Right about there. So I'm gonna take my card, or my paper, and I'm gonna bring it up from the bottom. Like that. Hi, Ardella. So there's the bottom. Then I'm gonna pull the sides up. Increase them. Hi, Dorinda, good to see you. It's so beautiful. I don't doubt everybody's out there doing their thing today. It's 70 degrees. Whoops, I squished it. All right. I didn't squish it. I moved it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me squeeze this really good so I can get it back. There we go. That one. That one. There we go. Okay, so that's straight. So then I'm going to bring the top one down. Just give that a little crease like that. So remember, so you're going to measure corner to corner. So this was seven by seven. So seven inches, which means you add an inch, so you'll need an eight by eight to do a standard card. So I just cut a piece of the paper, it's eight by eight, put it like a diamond, and put this in the center, fold it up the four sides, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reinforce the folds with a bone folder. And I'll show you what to do. So it's really, really so easy and so cool to have a coordinating envelope. Now for things like this particular pattern, I would probably just use a label on it, which I know I will, because I have a Dymo label, labeler that I use all the time. Okay, so if you look at the paper, once you're all done, you'll see you have these four little triangles. See the two there and two here? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just cut those out. Just snip them right out of there. I'll show you the ones I made. I made some larger ones today to send out a couple of things and they are so cool. Hey Debbie Colby, I to sell you. <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right. So how cool would it be to pull out your designer paper and make envelopes? I mean, you could make envelopes for all kinds of things. Have them on hand. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like once you cut out your four little triangles. Okie doke. So we'll turn it over. And since my card is gonna go in this way, I'm gonna fold in the two sides, fold in the bottom, and I'm gonna add some adhesive to the edge here, right about there. press. And the nice thing is you can just glue it down when you're ready to mail it. You, or you can put some washi on there, whatever you want to do to decorate it up. I'll probably just glue mine. So there's that. Here's our little card, little Easter card. This just fits. Cut the edge. There we go. This will just fit right in my envelope. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Isn't that fun? And look at that. That was free paper. So that is, my dears, how you make any size envelope. So look at this one. This is some of the pattern party paper that's free as a, a hostess pack in the um, annual catalog. See that? There's the back. This was a celebration brochure. So all I did was I measured my celebration brochure from corner to corner, which was 10 inches. So my paper I cut was 11 by 11, and I did the same exact thing I did for the smaller one, just like that. And I have an envelope. Woohoo! So there we go. So here again is our card from today using the daffodil, <laughs> daffodil daydream. We were just talking yesterday how everybody keeps saying daffodil delight because daffodil delight is one of our colors, but it's daffodil daydream stamp set. And you open it like that and it's just so springy and so fun. I love it. So there 
you go. I know, Deb, isn't that the truth? Alrighty, so that is what I have for you today. Um, I did not pull the winner. I forgot to pull the winner. I just got back from my parents right before I went live. So I'll pull the winner and do a little blurb on the page here so you'll know who won from for sharing from last time. Um, if you would love to share this, this would be great. Share with the, uh, sharing is caring as they say. Um, and I will draw and you will be getting um, one of these here. One of this uh, cards with the envelope. So thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, just following along and being here on my journey. I really treasure having you all here. So I wish you a wonderful day today. And I, until I see you again, stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Thanks. Bye-bye.